folks. Once again, we are joined by Kirk Kins of Meteorologists and Director of Operations for BAM Weather. Kirk, I'm kind of excited because it's officially spring, and I'm kind of hoping that means that we're getting away from, you know, the snow and kind of moving towards more rain if, if we are going to get precipitation. I don't know about you. Yeah, I'm I'm 100% ready for spring. I'm ready for summer. If we could jump right into one of those seasons, I'm ready for that too as well. We're, we're definitely moving forward in a pattern that is more rain versus snow. I don't think we're totally done. You can't totally rule that out into April, but uh, definitely a substantial shift in terms of that regard for sure. Right. And that's why I said hope, not that we are. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Get, I get it, man. Yeah. But just getting into it right here and speaking of precipitation, we did have some precipitation last week and a little bit this week. And can you kind of just talk about how that is kind of affecting us right now and where we're at and obviously where we're moving forward with that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And and this is where we're going to start off things. We, we usually like to talk about the drought monitor here and, and, and it's no surprise to anybody. A lot of the Southern Plains, Central Plains even, a lot of these areas are, are really, really dry. The last 12 to 18 months has been consistently dry in those areas. Now, if you look at the rainfall precipitation observed, this is all observed rainfall over the last seven days, you can see doesn't matter if it's from northern Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, eastern Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, a lot of these areas, uh, you know, one to three inches of rain blanket area wide. In fact, I, I actually included another little layer here. This is all precipitation observed over the last week for an inch plus. So this is a good perspective of this was a widespread rain. Um, and, and here's a different perspective here. If you just take a look at soil moisture, I have two maps on soil moisture. The first one is essentially the top 15 inches of, of the soil. And the second one I'm gonna show you here is the top four feet. So you can see this is, if you go back to previous vi uh, videos here, this is a substantial improvement for Kansas, Eastern Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, Oklahoma, Arkansas, even, even some areas of Northern Texas, this was an improvement of, of a rain here in the top 15 inches of the soil. Now, if you look at the top four feet, go all the way down, you can see it, it is a different story. You can see a lot of these areas are still in the yellow, brown or orange or red color here, essentially lesser amounts of, of uh, soil moisture that had been, been benefited by this rain. So it's going to take multiple more of these rains uh, to, to change this kind of pattern of what we've been seeing here um, in, in, as, as we go forward. I'll, I'll let you kind of take it into the next, uh, I would say, overall bullet point here. But um, uh, we're, we're going to return back to uh, some drier conditions as well. Yeah. And with that, like you said, we did get some beneficial rains, especially to those wheat crop areas. But kind of something yeah. that we don't talk about as much, especially with the farm forecast, is cotton areas. And the report right now is that there's a lot of dryness. But can you kind of explain, like, we did get some beneficial rains, but kind of what we're going to see as a trend there as well? Yeah, you know, that's a great point. So you can see this is a, this is a map that I pulled up here of the, the essentially the production areas of, of cotton. Northern Texas, obviously, Southern Plains, Mississippi River Valley down here in the Delta. Uh, so again, just to recap, this is a look at the rain over an inch. A lot of these areas, especially the Delta areas, we saw widespread two to four inches. Now, again, this leads me into my next bullet point here is this is the additional precipitation forecast. So not observed, but forecast rainfall over the next week. You could see Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma, most of you know Missouri, Arkansas, a lot of these areas, even into the Delta, very little to no moisture is to be expected. So uh, we're, we're not really in a pattern right now, especially in the Southern Plains and into Texas, where we are seeing replenishing consistent rains. And this is more, uh, this rainfall over the past week was more of a, a period of rain versus a pattern change of rain as, as we kind of move forward. And, and I do want to touch on just briefly while we have a little bit of time, what's to be expected? And, and here's where I think if we continue that conversation on cotton. Now, Texas cotton, I, I think we are going to be consistently dry as we head into our next month of April. You can see this is a below normal precipitation forecast through the first week of April. Now, for the cotton areas, especially in the Delta and into the Tennessee Valley, a lot of these locations here as well, an improvement. I think at least normal to above normal rainfall in those areas is going to be expected. So we're going to see an east versus west uh, overall improvement of those cotton areas as we go forward. And just because I have the, the next slide up here, this is a look as we're getting into the middle part of April here as well. You can see that west versus east breakdown here. So uh, there is some improvement to be ahead. I would say not for the whole cotton crop as a whole. And kind of still staying on that, I mean, for those areas that are seeing adequate moisture, it seemed like last year there's a lot of trends towards, you know, the wetter side and potential flooding risk. Do we see any of that as well this year? 
it, it is possible. You know, we, we've really been, especially further down south into the deep south, into the delta, when the rains seem to come, they be, it's really loaded with a lot of Gulf moisture. There's an active jet stream here. I think that is a, that is a risk. I'm, I'll put it on the table there. That is a risk that when these rains come in those areas, they're not going to be typically those half an inch, three quarters of an inch rain, you know, quarter of an inch rain. We're, we're probably going to be talking more on the realm of inches. It just seems like we're, we're very heavy in moisture when those rains come in. And again, just to recap, this is a look at the observed rainfall from this past week to support that two to four inches, five inches locally in a lot of these areas. So when the rain comes, it, it does seem to come heavy for sure. And That's I guess cool. just while we're thinking about it, we're both thinking long term. You're already wanting yeah. someone to be here. Can you just <laughs> can you just kind of talk yeah. about that long term and go into that as yeah. well? Yeah, I, I have those forecasts up here as well. This is a look at May. So uh, it, what I want to answer here, guys, is there any changes? We're going April into May. And again, I, I don't think so. I think most of Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, I think Oklahoma, Texas, a lot of these areas you can see in the yellow and, and orange color here where we're going to be consistently drier here. Now, again, the areas were some improvement or at least some consistently better conditions further east, closer to the Mississippi River and Ohio Valley, you know, further east, better further to the west. I think it's going to be uh, overall you know, struggling in terms of that precipitation here. And looking at the May temperature forecast here, again, I'm a favor of, of you know, a, a good start to a, a warmer spring leading it into summer. So most of us are definitely going to be warm. We're going to be warmer than normal as the current forecast for May. Um, obviously, for that cotton crop, any of the wheat crop here further to the west, warmer and drier, uh, simply would mean probably not a substantial improvement for uh, those crop conditions over the next two months. All right. Well, we're definitely going to be looking for any changes in that going forward. But once again, thank you, Kirk. And uh, yeah. hopefully we can continue to see some nice temperatures and some nice precipitation yeah. here soon.